I hope it's online right now, SMG, because I'm streaming. But let's see. All right, lack of troops here. We're expecting that. I see wasted. More research possible. More effective laws can be enacted? I didn't expect that at the start. But where is it? Okay, it's not the total system. It's not in the draft. It's not in the economy. Okay, which law can be enacted? Mixed industry. So that would be industrial laws. But I can't because I can't afford it. Oh, in-game, yeah. Uh, no, it's a single-player game. A, a, a single-player campaign. Because I'm terrible and I wouldn't be able to go up at speed anyway. Okay, so we can enact the laws, we just don't have the money. More research is possible. Uh, I think first thing we do as Germany is we try to get... Because the light tanks are going to be the um, Panzer twos. I think the mediums will be Panzer 3s. And Panzer Freeze and Fords are what we really want. They was the good things. And the Super Heavies are going to be like the Tigers and the, the Panthers. And to be honest, they was a waste of Germany's resources. If they would have focused more on getting more Panzer Freeze out there as a standard unit, I think they would have done better. So what do we need for this? We need at least level 2 in all of these. So let's get the tank technology going. I don't care about Armored Car. We're going to ignore them. Actually, we need up to level 3 to get self-propelled artillery brigade, which is something we do want. How much does the game cost? I actually got it on GOG, and I think the base game was under a tenner. And um, with all the DLC, like another 20 quid? I can't quite remember, actually. In fact, let me bring it up on GOG. I would like to bring it over onto the screen, but because I'm using the new version of OBS, I haven't actually got anything set up yet. H E A R. -T. I like how it tries to... Oh, because I've already got it. It's not... It wasn't showing up. Uh, yeah, Hearts of Iron 3 is actually only uh, 10 bucks. And all the DLC is 20... Basically 25. Wait a minute. It was on sale? I thought this was cheap. <laughs> But yeah, I, I considered that cheap anyway. I know it's spending money on a game which is about to be superseded, but it felt cheap to me. Um, the naval game. Like my head says go down to carriers. 1918, so we can actually get that. But let's focus on what we need. So tanks first, then... I think the multi-role fighter is a good all-around thing. <laughs> I overpaid. <laughs> I'm still happy with it, so I don't care. Um, yeah, so let's get the multi-role fighter. That's actually that's two years ahead of time. We're actually going to get a penalty for that, but I want to. I want to get that. I believe the multi-role fighter will then take the regular. Aero engine and everything else upgrades. And maybe even the jets once we can do it. So, but for the time being, they're even further ahead. So I don't really want to go too far down that. Um, industry. When it gets to the time to do it, I am going to do the nuclear research. But not yet. Um, let's see. So, at the minute we could do a possible of seven. I think aiming for ten tech sounds a good idea. Right, radar. Radar is something that traditionally the Germans sort of had but didn't use properly. But that's, that's ahead of time. We're looking for 36 things. So, in industry, for 1936 anyway, we're fully, fully done. There's nothing we can, can actually research yet in the secrets, theories...
Wait, aeronautical engineering? Where? Decay. Oh no, no, this is the theoretical stuff. Don't touch the theoretical stuff. You develop the theoretical stuff just by um, building things. S ch what punk. Well, that's really old, so we better research it. Um I wanna try and get caught up. Gorilla Warfare I'm I don't think it's really gonna help us all that much. A Blitzkrieg would be a little bit ahead, but I wouldn't mind trying to research that. Right, tactical command structure. Get some of the, what I'm guessing are going to be, right, delayed doctrine. Actually, that's going to be good for the um, troops on the Maginot line. Still need some convincing before Vicky Free. I'm, I'm surprised. I know that Victoria was never, I mean, it was considered behind Hearts of Iron in sort of like a progression of what the games was going to do. Right, mass assault. That sounds so bad. But we're going to pick you up. Central planning. I probably actually should maybe have looked into the infantry. And we've got a few things for 1936 which would be good. But I'm thinking can we get to mechanized infantry? What do we need? Oh we need a medium tank before we can do mechanized infantry. Ah but we do have motorized and motorized infantry. Yeah. So that's what we'll probably be building. Not regular infantry, but motorized infantry. Is there anything that we're terribly behind on an infantry? No. I don't understand the water game. Um. Wait, Vic Free? There is no Vic Free yet, is there? Do we mean Vic 2? Twin engine airframe I don't really care about. Okay, I think I've got my starting techs in. So we need 11. I think I'm going to take this down to 10. And I want 10 techs at a time. <laughs> Groovy, baby. Uh, 10 techs at a time. 10 at a time, baby. Yeah. Oh, cr no, just ten. One, ten. And right, now slowly. There we go. And if I right-click on you, it should lock in. Good. Um, officers, how are we actually looking at officers? We're currently at one hundred and forty percent, so that can probably be tweaked down. Let's try it and find. I'm not going to go for precise numbers because that's just not really. Got to influence Austria so you can diplo annex them. Okay. Is that, that's going to be espionage though, isn't it? Not diplomacy. No, 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 no. I put you where I wanted you. Lock you in. So that means that these are the only things that could be changed now. So yeah, let's get a little bit of diplo coming in, but. Focus a lot more on the espionage. Right, that's technology then. Law can't actually be done yet. I see wasted. Yeah, we're going to deal with that lack of troops. Insufficient research. multi roll Fighter 2 is two years uh, ahead. I, I want multi roll Fighters though, so I'm not going to say that. So diploma, no, no, let's deal with espionage first, which is intelligence. Yes. So let's deal with intelligence first, not espionage. Now, can I, right, neighbors, Austria. I believe to get them to join us, we need to increase Nazi-ness there. So let's send them as a secondary priority and support our party. That's what I want to do in Austria. France, 
I believe the technique is to lower their national unity so that you can roll over them very, very quickly. So let's disrupt national unity in France. Right, who else? I sort of want to get to war with Poland quicker. So would it be intelligence increase threat in Poland? Right, increasing threat. We, we will attempt to make this country seem more threatening towards peace than it currently is by propaganda and covert actions. Yeah. So that's going to allow us to declare war on Poland quicker. That's sort of a background priority. It's been 45 minutes. Nick hasn't even unpaused. Mo uh, I wouldn't really call it 45 minutes, Mr. Coaster. I did start at 4, which is about 45 minutes ago. But... We didn't really get started started then. CK2 to East versus West mega campaign. But I will waltz to 1940 soonish. Possibly. That's going to have to probably go reasonably quickly. Uh, so we're going to work on attacking Poland before the British can join. I don't think it's worth trying to convert the Americans over. The Italians will join whenever, so... I think that's fine for the intelligence. Um, we'll keep checking. Let's put ourselves at a little bit more of priority here. And of course, you know, just counter-propaganda in our hometown. Okay, I'm jumping backwards and forwards. I started at theatres, which is apparently the last one on this line. Diplomacy. Yeah, to annex Austria we need... At peace, is not a member of any faction. One of the following must be true. The NSDAP has an organisation of 40 popularity or above 40. Oh, an organisation of 40 or popularity above 40. Okay, so basically, yeah, we've got to get them up. Reconquer the Rhineland. What did we need for this? Wait, I basically just need to move units into two of them places. Right, if I'm reading this right, we have to be at peace with France and not allied with France. We need units in one of them four places. Which we've already got one of them. So I need units in Baden-Baden. Offenburg. Freiburg. Or Lurek. Right, I wasn't coming into the diplomacy screen to do this. But I'm guessing like you guys down here. Um... Double checking that it's not like having to own land over here. Things I'm terrible with the names. And is it the provinces or the regions? Like I think I just need to sort of send troops to the borders here and then we'll take it. Oh, to remilitarize. That makes more sense, because Baden Baden's over here. Um, oh, come on. I know roughly... Ah, Baden Baden, there it is. Yeah. So let's have a look at the actual thing that I wanted. Right, Blitzkrieg. Okay, it looks like I can't do the integrating the thingy yet. I think maybe you have to do the Aust Annex Austria first. And Anschluss? Is Anschluss just to occupy Austria or is it... You know, a different thing. Yeah, you know, is that word what I'm thinking it is, or is it something else? But yeah, that's that's fine. So, right, actually, on the diplomacy, what did I want to do?
I actually don't know what to do on the diplomacy. Um, I mean, we could... I mean, the chances of bringing the Americans over here without flipping them fascist first, I think, is very, very low. You don't want a non-aggressive pact. The commies. No, I think we need an event for that. I, I know Anschluss is when we take it without war, but is Anschluss... Is Anschluss a oh, German word for annex, or is that something else? <laughs> In fact, I I'm curious now. Hello, Mrs. Lady Google Translate. Okay, no, connect Austria. Influence nations closer to the Axis. It means union. Oh. Google told me connection, but meh, sort of similar. My German is so bad. Yes, it is. Austria's going to come over by itself. Manchuria, you're going to be eaten. Actually, Portugal. Portugal would be useful for navies in the Atlantic, wouldn't it? Okay, influence. Let's see if we can bring Portugal in. And let's work on Yugoslavia. Tibet, yeah, you're gonna go away very quickly. And actually Saudi Ar Right, just before I do this. Where's the oil actually on this map? I'm pretty sure. Saudi Arabia should have some, but Great Britain's already taken a lot from here, so maybe it might be better for Iraq. And that's supply map mode. Is there a resource map mode? Now supplies for military supply. Ah, oh, resource map mode. Um, what does this mean? Why, why are these things randomly green? Why is there, like, no resources apparently in Saudi Arabia? At all. And what resource is this then? Energy? Well, again, I can't see because it's not in my territory. Uh, let, let's try in a province where I know I've got the view. I don't know. If I know how to pronounce the name of Germany's leaders. Hitler? Adolf Hitler? <laughs> that's who I'm playing! Okay, that's not where I'd find out then. So, alright, production. I want to actually let a little bit of time tick before I click in any of these, but I do want to get something being produced. So let's get some generic infantry just being worked on. No, that's not what I wanted. Infantry, there we go. And let's actually give you... an engineer and an artillery. Combined arm bonus of 10. Now, the artillery doesn't slow you down, does it? Combat whip. No. Because you're infantry, so of course it's not going to slow you down. So that's going to be my sort of basic unit, brigade-wise. Hmm. Let's try and build them in parallel. 
20. Just lots of lots of troops to start with. As reserves, because we don't actually need them at full cost yet. Start production. Is that enough to... Right, consumer goods. What we need. Supplies. Let's trickle you up a bit. Upgrades, I believe, we can do without for now. So let's lock you at zero. A lend lease. We're not lend leasing anything, so... That should be fine. In fact, I've actually got a fair bit being built there. And I might want to hold off building the tanks until we have the medium tanks. Yeah, it hardly matters if I had the infantry because uh, sorry, the artillery because infantry is already slow. Okay, so we have resources. So that's production. Politics. Like, this is our own things. I, Hermann Goering, I recognize. Ru Rudolf Hest, I recognize. And Hitler, I recognize. I was expecting to see more names there that I recognize than what I actually do. But I don't really know how the leaders work here. I'm... I won't put it on AI controlled, but I don't really know what's worth swapping out on this, so we're actually going to leave that alone. Bye bye, politics. Alright, so we've done intelligence, theatres. Oh! Um. Why are you red? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have got blitzing stance towards the Netherlands, and that should actually take you all the way through. Mr. Coaster, blitzing stance. I have no idea what this page does. Go away. Replace Adolf with Churchill. I don't think we can do that. In fact, we can't replace him. Nor Rudolf Hess, actually. Hmm. Yeah, now I think we're at the point where I can... Uh, no, where, where's the trade? Shortcuts... Oh, there's, a, there's, 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 there's a trade thing, surely. Technology, no. Politics, no. In intelligence, it's diplomacy. Damn it. I know there is trade. I'm sure it's diplomacy. So is it just diplomacy then that I put onto auto? Yeah, you trade with nations in diplomacy. Thank you for confirming that, Mr. Coaster. So I just have to automate diplomacy to automate trade. Oh, no, wait. Automate trade. There. It's right on the screen. 